Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to episode three of our Detroit Tigers franchise rebuild here on MLB The Show 20. On our last episode, we made the trade of Matthew Boyd for Mr. Joe Adele. <laughs> I got a little I got a little flag for this, but I think it was the right decision. We bolster up our lineup, which is lacking by getting a top-tier young prospect. We do get rid of our ace, but Matthew Boyd was never going to be a part of the future. And we have a lot of starting pitchers coming up through the ranks that are going to be making an impact in two, three years. Because where it stands now, uh, the Tigers aren't probably going to have a winning season this year or next year. I am hopeful that year three will get us back to the playoffs, but that is a very long shot. And we can always replenish starting pitching through the draft or through free agency. The same with the same with the bullpen. A bullpen we can usually always bolster up through trades or through free agency. I'd rather get those skilled position players and have control of their early years than have Matthew Boyd. That's the way I looked at it and I thought it was a good trade. But here we are in episode three. Tigers are sitting at 16 and 25. Not that good. We're 6 and 17 at home, which is very bad. And 9 and 16 in the division, which is atrocious. Not as bad as the White Sox, but still pretty freaking bad. What's great is looking at this 29th rank, 21st defense, 30th pitching, 26th power, 24th contact. Hey, at least we're 10th in speed, though. (laughs) we We got some speed. You know, I guess that's a plus. But we stand right now, May 2020. Uh, I have narrowed down the game that we're going to be doing. We're going to be simming the rest of May, all of June. And we are going to be playing this game right here against the Houston Astros on July 12th, the game right before All-Star break. I would like to be like 10, 15 games under 500. We'll see what happens with that. But... Up to this point, we got a lot going on. We got to do all of our scouting to get ready for the draft, which occurs in 23 days on the 4th. So we have to get ready for the draft. We got to get the rest of our scouting up to par and prepare for it. So we're going to be scouting, 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 scouting up to the draft on the 4th. Hopefully we get a good draft. I would like a couple of A prospects, A potential prospects. Um, That is the ideal scenario, so we'll see what we can get when the draft comes. After the draft, we'll finish our sim, and we will get to our Houston game here. If I could be 10 or 15 games under 500, that would be great. Right now, we are scouting a couple of prospects here, so we'll wait for these to get a little bit further, get some more in the wings, and we just got to prepare. We just got to prepare for our draft so that we can make it a good one. So let the sim begin. All right, we really need to get some relievers in the wings here. So let's take a look at, we'll take a look at Larkin. Bobby Salter, doesn't look too bad. We'll take a look at him. We also got to get our position players, though. Who do we got at catcher? We got Stratton, Story, Len Webster. There's a couple in here. Catcher's a tough position. You don't get a lot of great ones to come around. It is, it is tough to get catchers down. We have a need at catcher, so especially since uh, Austin Romine's out for almost the entire year, half the year. So we just need to start preparing for the future because I really, really, really don't think that Jake Rogers is the answer. So we're going to start preparing for the future. 17 and 29 so far. We had a big streak right there of doing pretty freaking bad. We do want to take a look at some of the starting pitchers as well that we have here. Um, there's a few. There's actually a few. We'll take a look at him. We need to get him on another one of these catchers. Another catcher and another pitcher. Let's see what we have. We kind of have looked at all the closing pitchers, so that's all we get there. Uh, let's take a look at Foster here. All right. We got the efficiency up, so they should be blowing through this. We'll be able to get a lot more scouting done. So the Reds have offered me a trade. Avon Nova for Pedro Strop, who will be a free agent next year, but we might be able to get him 
fairly cheap. Only 1.8 mil on the books. What's Nova's contract? 1.5 mil for a AAA. Uh, I don't exactly want to buy, but this isn't a bad deal. Like, I'd rather have a little bit of somebody, somebody a little bit younger, but if we could get a couple more years out of Pedro Strom, keep him in the mid-70s, he could be a back-end bullpen arm. I mean, Nova isn't going to be making it anywhere else. I'm actually going to take this trade straight up. There are not many catchers. There also might be some that we haven't looked at, too, but uh, we're probably going to have to do something else with catchers. Barro Sanchez isn't bad, though. Also need to take a look at some of these outfielders as well, just in case we need to get that done. We did not do much of the outfield for actual, like, discovering. I wanted to work more on the middle infield. So we're going to finish those two up. We're probably going to look at both of these, all three of these shortstops, actually. Um, there's not too much at third base. And second base, we still have Lamont Getz there. So I might take a peek at these other two as well, just in case. But Getz is kind of sitting there potentially being my first pick. I don't know yet, though. We'll see. All right, we have finished the month of May for our sim, and uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Could have definitely done better, but, I mean, I'll take this. 25 and 33, a lot better than I thought we would be. Um, we finished the month off with a win uh, against Arizona, so that's good. But we're going to be hopping into the month of June, and it is almost time. The draft is in three days. Actually, I think it's the third, not the fourth. But still, it is coming up. So it is time to prepare for that. All right, we're going to spend our last resources here on John Hunter to take a peek at him because, goddamn, he looks pretty good for potential. Only 75 potential, but it looks pretty good. And we're also finishing up our final starting pitchers here for Paul Earnhardt and also Quentin Belliard, which could potentially turn into... Three pitches, two seam change up curveball could potentially turn into like a, a long reliever, but we're finishing up him as well. And then it is it is time. It is almost time for the draft here. Nice little win there. All right. Here we go. First year player draft. Our first draft of the franchise. We gotta put together a good draft and we need to get ready for what's about to come in the next couple of years. Let's see if we can put some pieces together in our first draft here. We need a couple of A potential guys. And we have the first pick. So uh let's let's look through here. We got Earnhardt, we got Glass. We didn't finish scouting, but that's okay. Castro, blue chip guy, Hoyt Bulls, another blue chip guy who looks very promising. Our relievers didn't quite pan out the way we were looking to. Uh, a lot of the relievers that we scouted actually scouted out not the best. Um, but we do have four very good closing pitchers uh, that we could use as bullpen. Four very good. This guy has a this guy's a five pitch closer. Like that's crazy. Look at those per nines too. Catchers are a little bit of a bummer. Uh, this guy's not bad. Good defensive catcher potential. Len Webster. The 45 overall is tough at age 22, but if he has very good potential, like that can skyrocket up in a couple of years in the minors, so maybe. Alvaro Sanchez, good power guy potential. Another good defensive catcher. Um, I mean, we could get we could get some of these guys maybe a little later. We also got Albert, Alberto Olio. Good fielding, good power hitter. Only 18 years old. Good potential. I mean, looking at him, I mean, he could be, he could be, he could be good. Then we also have Lamont Getz, who looking at him overall, like 70 overall at the age of 18 with 80 potential. That's tough. We do have scope there. We do have Nico Goodrum. Um, bolstering up a middle infield, though, is never a bad idea, especially if you can move some people around, too. He's in the, he's in the running as well. Third baseman was a little weak. That is for sure. Um, good fielding guys in here. Not that great of hitters in here, though. Um, if we were to take anybody, it'd probably be Barry Pearson just for the defense. But not too good at third base. Shortstop was a little a little bit deeper. Uh, we got Orlando Feliz here. Good contact and fielding guy. Uh, we also had Michael Moore, though, who looks 
very good. Great contact, good speed, decent arm, decent fielder, good plate vision. Extreme pull hitter, but that's okay. We could work with that. Yeah, look how many people we missed in the outfield. Three of them right here. We do have Lewis Doyle, though, and Billy Clemente in left field. Um, we also got Samuel Hoyt, who looked like a pretty good batter. Um, we also have him sitting kind of uh, lower down there that we could potentially get later. I know we got Adele, but we can also, I mean, Mackenzie Branch. Like, holy cow. That could be really good. Just for hitting alone, we could maybe hide his fielding somewhere. Good speed, good power, good contact, good vision, though. He could be huge. Garcia. And then right field, also, again, Chris Lunsford. I mean, there are some good players that we have scouted in this draft. It's just, what are we looking for? I mean, this Lunsford looks very good. I mean, I would like to also, I mean, Alberto Julio, first base is, is kind of a need. We have CJ Cron and Miguel Cabrera right there right now, but Alberto Julio could be good as well. Um, or do we go, do we go Gantz? 18, 70 overall, 80 potential. We are going to go with our first overall pick, Chris Lunsford. We're going to go with it. I think he looks very special. We could always use some outfield help. Right now we have Maben out there who's putting together a very good season. But, man, depending on where his skills align, we could also move him around, maybe to left. They're probably not center, maybe, depending on where his fielding and his speed uh, end up being. But we're going to go Chris Lunsford for our first pick. Ah, somebody took Julio. Damn. Because we're right up, we're right up here in the competitive balance round. I was hoping maybe we could get, maybe we could get Julio. Michael Moore is still here. That is probably going to be our first pick. Ah, Getz is gone. That's not surprising. I mean, we can also go closer. I mean, we need some bullpen help, but we can also bolster up our starting pitching. No, I don't want to take a chance. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Michael Moore here. I don't want to take the chance that he is not going to be there. Um, 60 overall, 80 potential. Looks like a great contact hitter. Uh, we got to go more here. Let's see. Earnhardt's still there. Okay. We also got Joaquin Samuel as well, who looks like he has good per nines. Closing pitchers are not a whole lot of them left, and we still have some that we could get down here, you know, like Wit. Like, there are some 75 potentials that we could potentially get. We definitely need the bullpen help, though. We can bolster it, you know, through, you know, trades and through free agency. But if we can avoid that and go here, that might be the move. Or do we take catcher help? 45 overall, 22. is That's tough, though. That's the thing. Perry's still there. I might take a flyer on him. We're going to go Samuel. Let's see. I don't think he was. I don't think he was drafted. He was, dang, and I was hoping we would get back to Earnhardt, but I think that's just about all of our scouted players, honestly. We didn't get any relievers. Again, oh, Atkins is still there. We might take him a little bit later. Did we take a fly on this parry? I mean, let's see who else if we have anybody else scouted. Eddie Garcia a little bit later. I mean, Mike Berg looks like a power guy that we could definitely use. Maybe we'll take a flyer on him. Barry Pearson might be super late for us. Maybe take a nice little fielding third baseman, see what we can get out of him. I'm going to take a flyer on uh, Perry, though. We're going to see what happens with him. Mike Berg's still there. Power hitting, 22-year-old. We lost our third baseman. That sucks. No closing pitchers left. Yeah, we don't have anybody scouted. Oh, we got Eddie Garcia. He's still there that we could maybe take a little late. So it's going to just be playing this by ear right now. <laughs> it's going to be playing it by ear. So let's go flyer, Mike Berg. Let's do it. Round number five. We got Guzma. We got Valentine. Elliot Tuttle. I mean, we're getting a little late, so these are all going to be like, could be good, could be bad. That velocity looks good, though. Fastball slider, changeup curveball. Fastball curveball cutter slider. Tuttle with a little bit of stamina, too. Cutter slider splitter. That is an interesting, interesting batch right there. We'll go Guzman, and we'll see if Tuttle... Nope, there goes Tuttle. Tuttle's gone. All right, we just need to look at relievers. 
Ooh, 80 overall, 80 potential. There's no way. I kind of just want to draft him just to see it not be that. <laughs> I just want to draft him to see it not be that. We'll take we'll take a Javari. Javari? Javari? And that's it. Okay. We need we need two A potentials, is what I'm looking for. Oh baby, we got him. Yes, dude. We got two A potentials. We actually got two A potentials. So we have Chris Lunsford, 83 speed, does not have any fielding ability, but he is a very, very good bat. 69 overall, 20 years old, A potential. And that speed is very good for right field. We'll have to see how he develops uh, a couple of years down in the minors, but. Yes, that was a good, good, good pick right there. Very, very good pick. And then we have Michael Moore, 61 overall, also a potential. Good speed. We have to see how his fielding holds up. Durability, 62, a little rough. Good vision, good contact hitter. Also very exciting. Like we're adding speed and we're adding batting, which is great. Fielding is Definitely a yikes, but we'll have to see how they progress in the minor leagues. But these two picks right here definitely set us up here in two, three years to have these guys up on the squad. Very good, very good draft pick. Joaquin Samuel, again, good. B potential, which is good. 62 overall. Great velocity on the four seam change up curveball. Good per nines, too. To start off, age 20. Like those are decent. Those are decent per nines coming in. Uh, we'll just have to see how he progresses as well. But those are three very good picks to start it off. Jeff Perry, not bad. Sixty-four overall, C potential. Probably get up into the seventies. Good speed, good fielding right out the get go. Arm strength, you know, only a forty-six. Playing second base though, just if that gets up into the fifty-sixties, that is quite valuable. 40 durability, though, which is tough. Very tough. And not that good of a bat, but could be a nice little defensive substitution kind of guy. Maybe have a spot in the MLB. We'll just have to see how he progresses as well. But not a bad draft pick still. That's not a dra bad draft pick. Oh, Mike Berg, dude. <sighs> I'm scared to go down. This is a flyer who had insane power, so I'm interested to see where he actually fits in. Okay. Okay, 60 overall, B potential. Again, more speed, not a very good fielder, but he's got the power. So we'll have to see how he progresses as well, because that bat could be fun. He's 22, though, so if he does make it up, it might take him, uh, you know, it might take him a couple of years. 24, 25 is when he makes it up. Might not be too bad, might work out for us. We'll just have to see how he, he progresses as well, but that's good power. If he can put it all together that will be that'll be a nice bat to have if not in the lineup at least on the bench coming up another flyer pick we we took carlo guzman 57 overall c potential great velocity not bad per nines kind of a bummer he has a 29k per nine though with that repertoire with that speed and that break maybe he can progress that we'll have to see how he works out in the minors but Fifty, I mean, 57 overall could probably start on the Tigers' bullpen right now, so maybe he makes it up to the team one day. Depends on where our bullpen's at here in a couple of years. And Patrick Yav Yav Javari, Javari, well, he wasn't the 80 overall that we were promised. Still not bad, though. 69 overall with C potential. Not bad. Those per nines are very good. The velocity is terrible, but those per nines are not bad. 36 home per nine is kind of shitty, but... Hit per nine, K per nine, and walk per nine all being where they're at first year, that's not bad. I mean, he could he could be in our bullpen right now. Like, that's how bad our relievers are. A pretty good freaking draft, though. We almost got three players with our first three picks at A potential, almost a fourth later as well. So these will definitely be good building pieces moving forward. This is a very good draft. We bolstered the bullpen up a little bit. We bolstered our outfield and our middle infield up as well. Uh, we just have to see how they all develop. 
But right now, though, I'm definitely going to sign all of them. And they'll probably be making their way single A or double A next year. So that will be, uh, that'll be fun to watch. Good draft. Very, very, very good draft. Let's continue the sim and see where we can get before our game with Houston. All right, halfway through the month and 29 and 44. Not too good. This has been a tough month. Look at all those owls there. This has been a real tough month. Our rotation is terrible, as we expected. Getting rid of Boyne. Fulmer's putting together a decent year, though. 88 innings, 5-5, five 3-4-5 five, five ERA. That's not too bad. So we finished the month off 21 games under 500. This was a tough month. We won seven games all month. That's not ideal. <laughs> that is not ideal. And they weren't even, a lot of these weren't even, some of them were close. Like one nothing, but like eleven nothing, ten to five, three nothing, three nothing, five nothing. Like a lot of shutouts. Not good. But this was expected. The first year with the Tigers franchise, they're bad. They're just they're bad. So we're going into the month of July here. We're gonna get up to the All Star break. Play our game with Houston. Hopefully, go out on a win before the All Star break. That would be great. All right, thirty five and sixty one is where we're at. We're going into Houston 50 and 44 right now. Um, we got Fulmer on the bump. He's probably he's had a good season, but he's probably gonna get shelled since we're going into Houston. Uh, we'll see what we'll see what happens. But before we get into that, let's go and take a look at where our lineup sits. We're gonna be going up against Josh James. We'll see where our lineup sits, see where our stats sit, see how everybody's doing. We'll take a look at any injuries. And we'll see what we're working with going into this game right before All-Star Week and the Houston Astros. All right, looking at our injured list, and I can see why we're having a tough go of things. Nico Goodrum, torn calf, 14 days left on the injured list. Cameron Mabin, torn ACL, out for the year. Corey Bonifacio, these are kind of the lower guys, but he's out. Pinero's out, Escalona's out, Cody Clemens out, and then that Austin Romine that I said, Torn Achilles tendon, he's also still out for the year. So, yikes, dude. Not good. Nico and Mabin both being out is tough. That's tough. Mabin was 287 he was batting. Like, he was having such a good season, and he got freaking hurt, really. That's, uh, that sucks. Let's see what we're working with, though, with our lineup right now. So here we go. We have Victor Reyes batting leadoff. 273 on the year, not too bad. Two stolen bases, two caught stealing. 308 OBP, not too terrible, not the greatest, but not bad from the leadoff position. We got Isaac Paredes, who got called up, um, which definitely makes a lot of sense with Nico taking the hit. He is starting at shortstop right now. Miguel Cabrera is still a DH. 275 on the year, not bad, 12 homers. Getting a little bit of his pop back. Um, that matches what he hit all of last year. So 275 average, two homers, getting a little bit of a pop back. That's not bad for, for Cabrera. We got Scope, who is decimating the ball, batting 318, has 18 homers, 55 RBIs. Yeah, he's putting together a pretty, pretty good year. 883 OPS, not bad. We got Kron standing, starting at first base, 224 average, only 10 homers on the season. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of expected. Especially with all the injuries. That's kind of tough. Joe Adele, batting 270 on the year so far. That is really good. Eight homers, 35 ribbies. Um, that is not bad at all. 753 OPS, 320 OBP. Striking out a ton. Kind of expected. Eight stolen bases on the year, though, which is really good. Only been caught once. That is definitely not bad at all. Stewart actually got called back up. Okay, 333 average, two homers. So he just got called back up. Yeah, eight games he has. 333, though, to start it off is pretty good. Jake Rogers, I need catcher help, dude. A buck 64 on the season. That is tough. What's crazy is his bat doesn't even look that bad. A buck 64, though. Hey, improving over last year when he batted a buck 25. So there has been an improvement. That's good. Still don't think he is the answer for us, though, but we'll see. We'll see what happens at the catcher position. I'm your Condelario. 247 average, not too bad. 10 home runs, 28 RBIs. 
82 games. He's almost matched when he played last year, which is really good. Has more homers, almost as many ribbies, and almost the same amount of walks in less games than he had last year. 741 OPS. Has a 331 OBP, which is really good. Travis Demerit, batting 217 on the year. That is not ideal. 311 OBP, though. Takes a lot of walks. That's good. But definitely struggling. Grayson Grenier, buck 69 on the year. He probably just got yeah, 19 games. Not too bad. Whew, not good, though. 229 OBP and a 505 OPS. That is not good. Jacoby Jones, 235. Two homers, nine ribbies. Not a bad guy to come off the bench, honestly. 310 OBP. Has a couple of homers as well. 28 games. Not bad. I am very surprised that Castro is not starting, honestly. And it's because of his fielding. Like, we could slide scope over to shortstop. Castro's bat is so big, though. And he's batting 300 on the year. 349 OBP, 741 OPS. 84 games played. He might just be getting a, a, a rest. I don't know where his uh, stamina is, but he, he may actually just be getting a rest because he has a ton of games played. 84 games played already. Uh, I'm guessing he is just getting a rest right now. Well, that is where the team sits right now before we head in to our game against the Astros. We are... In last place, 35 and 61, 12 and 32 against the division. Holy cow, that is bad. Three and seven over our last 10. Let's try to spark them. Let's give them a little bit of a spark, dude, going in to the All Star break. Let's go out. Let's go out and win this one. Let's go out and win this one against the Astros. It can be done. I feel it in my bones, dude. Here we go. Josh Shames, 6 and 6, 599 ERA against Fulmer, 5 and 8, 359 ERA. Pretty good, actually. So Christian Stewart's actually a little bit tired. We're going to give him a break. We're going to bring in Castro for this one. And that's what we're going to roll with. Let's hop into this and get ready. We got to win this game. We got this. I believe. I really do. I believe. Been the best week for him Here we go, baby. Twice in their last six tries. Come on, Reyes. Nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage this one, d -roll. After this one, Morning, they go on the road for a seven-game road trip. So big to get this win here today. Yeah, last game in front of the home folks before you go out. For no, we're going to beat them. This is a big one. They're going to get it done. And it's 2-1 oh, and one to the try. Tigers' leadoff hitter. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants Ah, to just under it. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Springer comes on now and he has it one down. Damn. Not exactly. The short shot. Digging in, number 19. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Oh, how that was a changeup coming in. A right-hander standing six foot three. He was taken in the very late rounds during the 2014 draft. I know this guy. Bring that slider in here, dude. Superstar, but to grind out the career he has, being drafted where he was, my hats off to him. And another foul. Fighting him off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was yeah, that was very late. That pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Saw Damn. Him off here as this ball's popped into the air, and he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play. Wasn't expecting another fastball there. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. Oh, Miguel. Well, so far in this series, he's three for nine. Three for nine. Okay, ump. We're gonna do that today, Blue. Ball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, shouldn't be 0 2 if he triples up on it. Now just under it again. Into the air to shallow center. Tucker. Not the first inning we wanted to start off with. Not the first inning we wanted to start off Michael with. Michael Palmer gets the ball for the Tigers in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, a little bit Not a bad year for Fulmer, actually. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. 
and recently he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can. Not what I like to hear. Pitch better in this one here today. Here's the second baseman Jose Altuve. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And then misses inside 1 and 0. So, fellas, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, they dropped another one last time out. And in fact, they've won wow, blue. twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Like, okay, yeah. dude. I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game. You'd like to win. This is going to be one of those days for blue, huh? Three. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So, this is a big one for this ball club. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. 12 stolen bases for Bregman. Interesting. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Nice. He wants to chase that slider. We're going to give him another one. Swing and a miss as they got him Good shit. The slider there, two away. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him Good shit. Only four Ooh, Jordan has 31 homers before the All-Star break. Holy shit. First pitch coming, here it is. Off the plate, ball one. Bases are empty here. 111 hits, too. My God. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. That works. All right, let's get this change ball down here. There we go, baby. And that'll do it. The inning is over. Quite possible the humidity Good finally half inning for Fulmer there. Next for the Tigers, Jonathan Scope. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. Oh, shit. Season this guy's having up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Up and away to start the inning, it's 1-0. Fifth in the AL in batting, god dang. All right, Scope. Go off, man. I honestly think I'm going to keep him as long as I can. We're definitely going to re-sign him. Oh. I was so early on that thing. You got to be kidding me. What a fucking change up throw there. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in. Damn, dude. Back to back off speed. Fuck off. Bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Damn it. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. That slider's tough to fucking pick up on. Fouled off. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Oh my god. How early was I? Pretty fucking early. Stays alive, still 0-2. Gotta really protect against the sum too, because he's had a couple of really bad calls. Gets him swinging Second time on that slider. Man, I gotta watch out. I gotta watch out for that. Series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Gotta watch out for that. That slider is kind of an asshole. First pitch on its way. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Get out. Back the right fielder to the track. Let's go, Adele. Let's go, baby. One swing is all it takes. Let's go, Joe. To right center. Home run number nine on the year as the Tigers grab Let's freaking go, baby. Lead. I'll tell you, he looked like he was on cruise control. We will take that. First two batters, 
But if this game teaches you anything, it's that you can never take an out. <sighs> he almost robbed us too. A homer. Into the box now, Harold Castro. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll work on keeping this top. Love striking first. I love striking first. First blood's the best. High in the air out to center field. Springer has Damn. a read on it. And that retires the side. Not bad. We we got got what we had to get done though. But the Tigers hit the board first on the strength of this solo home run. Here we go. 243 for Correo. Okay. Having a tough time, Correa. The wind up and the 01. I gotta watch out talking shit though, because I'll probably fucking absolutely nail the ball on me. Right-handed pitching. Some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing the bat, but that's certainly not the case here. Yeah, this guy just absolutely hammers right-handed pitching. You know, some guys like the ball in, coming towards them, and that's exactly what the righty-on-righty -righty matchup presents itself. A two-seamer right, in, a four-seamer that leaks out over the plate, a hanging... Try to get this slider here on the outside. To absolutely hammer those. Way outside, though. That is not ideal. Change has been good. I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right Change up's been good. And there's one down now. Batting fifth. All right, guys. Here's a defensive alignment for the Detroit Tigers. And let's take a look at John. Fourth and AL and fielding. The versatile new regime ball players. Ability to play second base. Okay. Turn to double play at six foot two, 200 plus pounds. And move over to third base with a rocket arm. Not bad. Springer, Springer. 291. As the first pitch to They've got some good bats. They've got some good bats this year. Jordan fucking blows me away. 31 homers. Like, holy and shit, dude. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. I right, give him another slider out here. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Good shit. The first baseman. So here's Yuli Gurriel. Damn, 335, 19 homers. Second in the American League in batting average entering play. Second in the American League. Holy shit. Wind up. Here comes the 1 0. Taken high and yep. deep to right. Looking up is the right fielder. Yep. That one is gone. It's a solo home for Yuli Gurriel. Yep. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And the Astros have pulled back even now with one run apiece. Both hits are homers. Right side's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday, so you know he's locked in and ready to okay. go there. Okay. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. That definitely uh, wasn't exactly where I wanted it. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing. God a dang, run. dude. At the plate, Kyle Tucker. Nope. He'll take a ball look one. at ball one. I'm scared to throw a fucking Some fastball now. Two gone in the bottom of the second. That's ball. Blowing away as he misses again. Two and zero. Oh. Two balls. It's no never play. advantageous to fall behind two and zero oh as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to. All right, we got out of it. Have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Back to back, Jacks. Two full. Coming to the plate now, Jake Rogers comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Third inning starts with a slider. Let's see if we can get something going. 0 for 4, two strikeouts for Jake. He's cold too, so PCI is going to be non-existent. Oh, and that looked 
Motherfucking slider, dude. Josh? What you doing here, bud? Good start. Great start to the inning. No double play, please. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back under you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. That off speed, man. That off speed stuff that he's got. Very deceptive to me. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that. Two balls and two strikes now. Two two. Oh, the fucker. He got him on strikes. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Okay. Standing in now, Victor Reyes fouled off. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can get on base here. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep. Victor? Right. Let's fucking go, Victor. See you later. Over the wall, a home he run. hung that one and I was ready for it. Let's freaking go, Victor. To straight away right field, home run number five on the year, and the Tigers have taken a three-two lead. I was freaking ready for it. Just two and a third innings of work, so it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick. Let's go. Stay in this one for a while. Hung that change up. Plate now, number nineteen. So take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's zero and one. I was not I was not sitting fastball there. I was sitting off speed and he gave it to me. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Still he gave it to me. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. Got him to go down swinging there. Number 19 Fuck. goes down for out number two in the top half. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Waiting fastball, and I still swung through it. That slider scares me. Slider, but that's below the knees, and it's 2-0. and oh. Now ball two. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches. I think if right now you really have to try to get fastball. the best pitch you can get in the zone, you have to throw it right here. God damn it. Behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Ooh-wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. To two and two now. That 97, that would have been good, but that 99. It was a nasty changeup away is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long. When that 99 comes out, when he tips 100, that's hard to catch up on that thing. The Tigers do get a couple, however, on this two-run home run. Reyes with the donger, though. Does not happen too often. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. The catcher. Yeah, ref. 0 and 1 the count. Good game so far. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. Good freaking game so far. No 
Ump, you're killing me here, dude. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I Jesus. Really working the count right here. You're killing me, Ump. You're actually killing me, Blue. Base hit out of the ninth spot, and that sets the top of the order up nicely here to start the inning. Jose. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And that is just shy of the box seats off the top of the wall. And to score is the runner from first. It's a 3-3 game. They are all sitting fastball for first pitch. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they... There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every wow. stitch of as that one without a doubt is <laughs> wow. We're watching an impressive power display. Okay. Today. With that one, these two teams have now hit a combined. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is turning into we got to get. I guess let's get Zimmerman up. We don't want to get Jimenez up. I guess we'll get Zimmerman up. Neither side is missing. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Holy shit. So now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. As the oh. first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball, ball one. No hey. And he looks at a change up in there, one and one. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's gonna pound away, might have to work the opposite field. Lifted the other way to left center. Long run for the center fielder. He we got gets it. Gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The batter, oh my God! So finally got a fucking batter out. Correa. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. No balls in one strike. Now the 0-1. Also, I love how he said I was pounding the strike zone when I, it's like almost a 50-50 split of balls and strikes. However, the Ump is fucking me on a lot of these calls. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes to count. Fastball at the knees. Oh, we got one though. Below the knees, but it's strike three called, and there are two away. Okay, he gave me one. Guess he's feeling sorry for me. The next to hit. Oh, for one for him here in this one. I was fighting that swing the whole way, but he went around. It's no balls and a strike. Three runs already home here. A great job of changing speeds oh there. It's 0 oh and 2. You want to chase that? I'm going to give you another one. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Ready with another 0 2. This pitch is. If they're prone. prone. Moving to his left. And this will <clears> not be caught. It's a foul ball. Okay. Two out, nobody on. Watch us get punished for that now. Okay. The damage is done, though. New inning set to get underway. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last five to three. Holy oh, shit. Taken low and away for a ball. It's one and oh. Oh my god. Why did I have to be so fucking early on that? He's hung so many sliders. He has hung so many sliders, dude. Damn. Just on top of it. Up next to the Tigers. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the big first baseman, C.J. Crone. Oh, my God, no! way out in front there. No! Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh my god. So many hung sliders. And no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. And he found Tried to stay back on it. I went too low on it though. Now 
another one two and rarely do you see a player of his caliber fooled that badly but he was tied up in knots that time two that motherfucking slider dude is gonna be the end of me Joe Adele bats now well, you don't see that every day, Matt. A home run on a fastball that is away off the plate that he went out and hooked it. If I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking to myself, I've got to make this guy a little bit more uncomfortable, not let him get those. Holy shit. Fuck off, slider. Inside in this at bat. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. Man, announcer's shitting on me right now. Away. They are shitting on me. Holy cow. Let's go, guys. Let's not let's not shit on me too much, please. Wind up and the O2 pitch. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. I can't see that slider. I just can't see it. And we're back in Houston. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park. Can't see it, dude. Check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros offense with Houston's manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Oh, well, I would be too. They already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the opposing starter work very hard. His pitch count is high, so it seems they'll be getting into the bullpen sooner rather than later. True. Thank you, Heidi. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Now the Cuban Actually, not even that high. Uriel, and he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around, and that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff. Weak ass center. contact. So make it two hits for him in this one as he's on base here in the home court. And as you can see on the graphic, his total currently leads this Astros ball club. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. <laughs> and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing. Oh, come on. Out of the zone. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this one bounds around against the wall. Hey, this guy's been slumping at the plate. Saw his average fall below 240. Yeah, we can't afford it. That knock had to feel good. Jordan Zimmerman answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Homer got kind of beat up. Slider laid off for a ball. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball, one and one. One and two. The count is one Great and two. pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Let's go, baby. I should get our confidence up a little bit. Breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Hit out towards second. Scope is there. There's one. The relay. Damn. Should have just tagged him. Up next to the after. Up to the plate. Next will be Jose Altuve. He doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. A ball and two strikes. Let's go, Zimmerman. Early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly. That's Got out of it. Threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Got out of it. Digging in to try it again. Harold Castro. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Things All right, this motherfucking slider, dude. This one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time. Damn. To get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Damn. Into the box, Jake Rogers. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And a fastball one and one. way off target here, and it's even at one. And a half -hearted I tried to hold it up. You broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes. I tried to hold it up. Got him swinging. Bro. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. I can't see it. 
I just can't. Like, I can't pick up that slider out of his hand. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And they start him with one high and Holy shit. Three runs, just two hits, and no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired oh, seven in a row. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Even count two a little bit better. Strikes. Still extremely early on it, though. Two, two. Grounded ah! Right. Altuve fields it cleanly. On to the first Damn. Guriel, and that will end the Not a good half inning. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Past history with Jordan Zimmerman. Just a 1 for 12 career line. That's popped up. Don't worry. Make that 2 for 12 on weak ass contact. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half yeah. of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off. Yeah, and then we got Jordan Alvarez coming up. There he executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Bregman on at first. Nobody out. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Oh. Thrilled to the right side. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. He dug down deep for that one, too. Carlos Correa now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here. That ball found Good double turn, baby. Make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side. Normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now we've got a couple of guys on. And he lays off there, one and zero. Oh. Great job by everyone involved right there. Executed a, a swing. Get and there, Joe. Sent out toward the gap, racing back the center fielder. No. Score from third. And this will hop over the wall, but the run. Look at how deep. Dude, look how deep he went down for that. Holy shit. Down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. He's a foot under the strike zone, dude. Fuck off. Fuck right off. On the RBI double. We're through five here this afternoon. It's the Astros six and the Tigers three. Victor Reyes will stride in, but first oh my God. third as you take another look here at this oh. run homer that had him rolling early on. Got a ball, fastball one here, not close, and it's one and one now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first He's gets out. him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting. Ready once again. Number 19. Oh. Comes in over two this guy's got me all sorts of fucked up, dude. Off here, but it's a cold all, strike one. all sorts of fucked up right now. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. And there are two oh. away now. I didn't think I was that late on it. Digging in once again, Miguel Cabrera. He flew out in his last at bat. Like, he gets wild, dude. He gets wild. And. But all of a sudden, he starts pounding the strikes on with the shit. Like, I want to take those hanging sliders, though, are really starting to piss me off. Am I crushing them? There we go, baby. A little late on it, but that's all right. Well, it's been a while since they had a base runner. More than three innings to be precise, but yeah, he's been he's been setting me down in order. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Oh, swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Oh, for two for him to this point. On its 
its way the 0 1 pitch. Cool, and it's 1 it. and 1. Way outside, nearly to the backstop. All right. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking. All right. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. High and deep. Let's fucking go, baby. This one's got plenty of distance. It's up and out of here into the archways. Let's freaking go, dude. So it's a two-run homer for Jonathan Scope. 19th home. We are back in this. Season, and this will make things interesting at this point. It's now a 6-5 game. We are back in this game. Mm-mm-mm. Scope continuing his big year, dude. Slugfest, huh, guys? Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Ro, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter. And so far, that one looks ball, like it's right. the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because... Wow, Crone was a first-round pick. Right now. A swing and a ground I didn't know that. Third. Foul ball, one and two now. Great change Damn. up there in the dirt for the third three strikeouts strike. for Cron. That ends the inning. Fuck. Scope got us back in it, though. Tigers do get a couple, however, on this two. He got us back in it. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Ready for another shot now. Aledmus Diaz. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park, just like he did back in the second. Ball to strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. No, Tried to get him to go after I don't know why Rogers can't pick that fucking ball up. Grounded to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Fuck. Fourth in the AL in uh, fielding percentage. Kyle Tucker. He's by the way. With the strikeout in this one. He set and the pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Ground ball left side. Scooped up the second for one. Good shit. On the first, and his Bernie may have Good shit, dude. For the price of one for the Tigers. Two away. Oh shit. He has hurt himself. Sharp pain in his hip. Trainers out to have a look, but it cures Diaz will be unable to continue. Could even wind up on the DL. Uh-oh. Like a hip pointer or something? Like, what the fuck? Now after the double play. And oh, next to hit is the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Four for ten. Nobody Last ten. That's pretty good. Four and a bad average. Jesus. Softly hit out towards short. Thank you for not bobbling that one. Throw in time. All right. No runs in an inning. Jeez, oh, peace. That feels good. Strong. Lots of speed. Not bad. 100 against right-handers. Good ERA. Good Ben. Definitely not that heat we were looking at, so... God, hopefully we can do something something with it 64 home run for nine all right, here, hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning all right Joe you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense all right Joe ball one to start the at bat the one oh is laid off for ball two you'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth you fight so hard to get into these counts one oh two oh three one they don't happen often. Let's go, Joe. Huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on a fastball right here. I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back. Change up middle of the plate. Here we fucking go. Let's get something going here. Stepping in now, Harold Castro. Dang, slide step me, huh? Fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. 
it's on the ground a second. Did he get his double play? God dang it. First, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. God dang it. Stepping in and ready for another. That probably would have been a strike with this fucking up anyways. Went down on strikes last time up. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's one and oh. Rounded down the third baseline. Still super early on these, dude. One and one. Probably because I'm used to seeing the fucking 100 mile an hour heat. Fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Two balls and a strike to count. I slowed down some. Now the two one. High in the air and deep. Oh shit, Jake! Oh, we tied it up, baby. Game is tied. Let's fucking go. We tied her up. So a solo shot here. Jake Rogers. Sixth home run on the season for him. As they pull even, it's six. Only the sixth homer. That's the seventh home run hit so far in this game. Really? Yeah, this has been nuts, dude. Yeah, Maddie, it's scorching out right now, and they always say when the weather gets hot, the ball starts traveling. Dan, what's your take? Oh, uh, that's exactly what happens, D Road. Come out of spring training in a lot of the places. That like I said, dude, if we could take the game right before the All Star break, that would feel good. Definitely plays right into the hands of the hitters, and they're taking advantage of the conditions today. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can swung on, and this one's driven in the air. Candelaria? Oh, warning track. Right field. Damn. We'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Last half of the seventh here. Now Has everyone's been pitching all right? We're going to keep him in. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too mad. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. One and O oh, the count. From the belt, the pitch. There goes Altuve. Hit back up the middle. And Damn. Throw to first is in time. One gun. He actually got some on it. Stepping in, Jordan Alvarez. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Too low. One and zero. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher, right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there. One and zero. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't one connect, ball, so he finds down. himself down one and two now. We can get a strike out here. How much he can do with that one? Tie him up in knots. That works. That works. We might have been able to get him at third, honestly. It probably would have been pretty close because that was ready for another chance. Absolutely crushed. A rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt. Especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Three and two now. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard. Damn it. And he has delivered on three and two as he comes up big. It's a base hit. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. Now a seven to six game. Boy, those have to feel really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with thighs in the top. Damn, dude. Right when we tied it back up. Right when we tied it back up. To make the catch, and the inning is over. Astros plate one on a couple of hits. Eighth inning coming up. Damn. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. 
and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said that any time you can put six runs on the board, you have to feel pretty good about it. Yeah, I guess. A lot of little things are going right. Now, it's just a matter of maintaining that through the rest of the game. Guys? Ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Presley, huh? 6380 RA. God dang. 19-3, though, for strikeouts and walks. That's pretty solid. This is going to be a tough one. Reyes. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. About get through there. The middle. Beat it out. Well, Let's fucking go, on. Reyes. Good hustle there is now the possible tying run is aboard to lead things off here. The batter. <sighs> it was chopped, but fuck it, dude. The pitcher, lead off guy anytime he gets on usually creates a problem. No. You know what, Dio, it's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Anytime you get that lead off guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. Come on, baby. now. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former okay. offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to Brian. You know, okay. For doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going We're going to take here. Swinging hard. You need to make good pitches. He doesn't walk people pitches. too often, so. You don't have command of the fastball. You're in for a long This is probably going to be tough. I saw that here this afternoon, the ball flying out at near record pace. Three one, lofted in the air out toward right center. Zero chance that would have been ball four, honestly. Especially with this ump, he's been calling a lot of low stuff. That would have been a strikeout if I would have tried to take there. Or not a strikeout, we would have been not two strikes. My bad. From the belt, the pitch, and this is taken outside for ball one. Presley has proven to be a guy that throws 12 double plays. Don't tell me that. And doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boyd, every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes Damn. and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. Just a little off it. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. Come on, Scope. Oh, that bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss oh, it. Out. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Come oh, on, baby. Ready with the 1-0. Oh, oh no! He put it right down the middle. I was late on it. Late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Hard ground ball. To Damn it. On to Altuve Ow. for the force out, and the inning is over. Damn it. So stepping in, Yuli Gurriel. He homered earlier the and is two for three, three to this point. Joe Jimenez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. All right, Joe. Inside with the fastball, it's one and oh. Number 77. Joe. A ball and a I was literally right down the middle. First baseman. Griel swings and it's hit very well out to left. Two fastballs right down the middle, dude. And it's gone as they add still another. Can't do that. To the plate now, Miles Strong. They still take a look at a slider here that finds. Already lost my confidence, too. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back to back wow. really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket. Wow. Right and he's going to get this. We have gotten. Nobody out. We have gotten. Mightily fucked though with this weak contact bullshit. I can't take him out either. Alright, 
especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1-1. One one. The 1-2. One That's a ball. Hey, there's not a lot you could do two with ball. a slider breaking two down ball. and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea. Oh, my God, uh, Blue. Pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. What the fuck? On deck, skied into straightaway right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the fly out. Now batting. Ready now. Garrett Stubbs. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Ground ball right side. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he catches wow. in with a base hit. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going in. Oh, my bullpen and starting. Bullpen and starting, dude. Pitching has killed me. Enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Ackerman, a right-hander going six foot five. He's a five-year vet at the major league level, and he'll get back in safely. Runners on first with one down. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. He's falling behind now, three and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. I'm oh, surprised he didn't call the. Surprised he didn't call the ball, Blue. Line to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. The relay throw, but too late, and he's safe at third. Guys, that Jack. Oh boy, this has uh, this has gotten away from us. Was able to stay inside that slider and drive it the other way. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. It's been a two for four effort for him so This far. has gotten away from us here. And the pitcher, his bread and butter is that two seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. Now, ball and two strikes two. now. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. And <sighs> he's the plate as they cut him down. Okay. To score. The batter. So striding in, Jordan Alvarez. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home. So Please don't hit a home run on me, Jordan. Strikes the count. In there, and it's even at one. Two men are on with two men out. Uh-oh. Hit well on the ground to first. He lays out, but he can't make the play. And it's we got him. Into right. And not in time as the run scores. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead or a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your <clears> offense <throat> gets it to four and you know that save situation's gone out the window, don't tell me that didn't hurt. The first pitch is hit pretty well out to right. <laughs> this game, dude. Looking up. Gone. This fucking game, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Nothing in one. It comes into this appearance. Oh boy. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Pitch on the way. Holy shit. That was so bad. Scrambling a nasty breaking ball off the plate. And strike three there as they'll finally work the inning. This game's kind of uh This game's kind of gone out the window, huh? Ninth inning coming up. Astros lead this one 13 to 6. He said here it comes. Doesn't help that the game just really doesn't like me. Now the 0-1. Honestly, this team's pretty fucking bad, though. Our best pitcher is a 77 overall in bullpen and on rotation. So, like, this was bound to happen. And he'll strike out here yet Four again. strikeouts. Been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Now 
Tough, tough scene, dude. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Tough, tough scene. Lifted in the air after left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets that was really bad though. Should have been out of it. And what it would have been a ten to six game. That's no nine. Would have been nine. That's bad. That was that was really bad. We actually got the throw home and he didn't even try to tag him. That's really bad. Two and zero to the Tigers left fielder. He's waiting on the breaking ball there and sends it to deep right field on the run, and he makes the catch just shy of the wall. Ball game, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to to. To to swallow there. We didn't bat too good though. We only had seven hits. Not good. Brown struck out four times. I struck out four times with him. Scope got his nineteenth though. Adele got his ninth. Reyes is fifth, and Rogers is his sixth though. Pitching is the name of the game. Five earned, two earned, two earned, four earned. We just got beat the hell up. Alderman has a thirty-two ERA. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He got fucked though. Like that shouldn't have been the case. That shouldn't have been the case because he should have been nailed at home plate. He just didn't even try to tag him, um, and that really blows. That's a tough game, though. We were good until the bottom of the eighth happened, but, I mean, that's when the bullpen came in, so... These games were bound to happen, though. These games were bound to happen just because this Tigers team is really fucking bad. Like, really bad. We are building for the future. We are not building for right now because this team sucks. It is not good at all. At all. That's where we have it. 35 and 62 is where we're at right now. Honestly, right on point with where I thought it would be. It kind of sucks that the game kind of took that game out of my hands in the top of the ninth. Um, that sucks. Because we were in a position to at least try to make a comeback. And uh, yeah, the game just said, not today, bud. But I guess that's kind of the Tiger way. So, reality reality at least we're getting realism with the tigers we had a good draft though got pedro strop which we'll probably try to keep for a couple of years maybe be a back-end bullpen option we're at the all-star break halfway home and that's all she wrote for today's episode of the detroit tigers rebuild we will be back next week with a more sim and another game we'll see what game we decide to choose we'll see who knows? Maybe the team changes a little bit. Trade deadline uh, is coming up, so maybe we make some moves for the future. Kind of uh, completely tank the season and make some moves for the future. We'll see what we do with our trade deadline. But thank you for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on the video or think about subscribing to the channel. We do this every single week. Tigers rebuild. We also have a road to the show with Leroy Jenkins. That airs every Sunday. Episode 4 was just released yesterday. We just made it up to AAA. I highly suggest going and watching it. It was a very good episode. I also play some golf club every Wednesday through Saturday. Our rounds 1 through 4 for the TGC Tours. If you'd like to check that out as well. And we sprinkle in some other content too. So if any of that tickles your fancy, go ahead and drop us up. I also stream live over at twitch.tv slash respawn TV. We stream Monday through Friday. We stream Diamond Dynasty content a lot over there. We just got the Mickey Mantle card, which feels freaking good, man. We're going to be trying him out today in some ranked seasons. So if you're interested in that, pop on over, check it out. Hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, though, wherever you are in the world. And we'll be back next week to continue the Detroit Tigers franchise rebuild. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Deuces.